you guys. When I film, my room turns into a production, okay? I got a light down there, a light over here. Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Via. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about a story that I have literally not gotten to. You know, life is crazy right now. Like, I just got back from California and I'm about to tell you a story about Denver in November. Like, you know what? Life is crazy. Finals is right now for college, so... You know what? It's it's just at the pace that I needed to be. So that is why this story is like, you know, a month overdue, but whatever. It's literally Friday night too. <laughs> it's Friday night. What do I do on a Friday night? This. But this is like the calm before the storm. You know what I'm saying? Like I have so much time to spare before we go out. So I'm like, great time to film some videos. Okay, period. Let's get into it. Okay, so I just want to preface this story that a very common theme that I feel like that has been very prevalent to me is alignment and it's not always about what people say and what people do it's not about their actions speak louder than their words but it's about do their actions align with their words and what i mean by that is someone could be like telling you vocally i really like you i'm crazy about you you're amazing and then physically ignore you around their friends or physically don't make time for you. You know what I'm saying? The opposite of that could be someone could be constantly hooking up with you, but telling you that you're not interested in having a girlfriend and therefore their actions and words don't align. You can't take one as being more powerful than the other. It's about alignment. And so the story that I'm going to tell, that is just a very common theme that I felt. I'm such, I'm such a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. Like you are supposed to learn this at this time just to teach you this next little lesson. Like, Nothing is ever a mistake because you can constantly grow and learn from literally everything. Okay, also I need to show you this cool ass shirt, okay. <laughs> this shirt is so epic. It says Born to Rock. My best friend thrifted it for me at the bins. She found it. Such a find. It gives me like state fair tent vibes. I don't know, I love it. It's so corny. So this takes place in November and I was going on a family trip with my mom and stepdad and my two sisters. And we were going to Breckenridge, Colorado. I also would like to add that November's, I don't know what it is, probably I mean just going into every November with the mindset of every November sucks. But the past like three Novembers of my life have particularly stuck out to me as just being like a shitty time. And so this year I made sure when November approached, I was like, this is gonna be a great November, like, November, I'm excited, bring it on, November, Tyler the Creator song, like, let's go, November. Like, I wanted to have a good-ass month, and I did. So, just make sure always, you know, mindset. Where, what are you thinking? Be aware of your thoughts, okay? So, we were going on a family trip to Breckenridge, but we were all flying out of different cities. And I found out that SZA was coming to Denver the day before I was supposed to fly in because I got my ticket separately because my parents are going earlier than me out of a different city. My older sister was going earlier than me out of a different city. Like, I'm still in school. I'm in college, so I can't just get up and leave. I also have work. So, like, but also, like, I'm in college. I have the least responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? I can get up and leave, and that's exactly what I did. So I told my parents, I was like, hey... I'm going to book an Airbnb and I'm going to pay the difference of my flight so I can see SZA if that's cool. And I heard that she was going, so I got a ticket and obviously it was sold out because it wasn't a tour. It was like a little five city stop concert. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, the fact that she's not coming to the Midwest, you know, Wisconsin, Wisconsin girl. <laughs> oh my God. Not a flex. It was like the fact that I'm going to be in the state that she's going to be in a day after. Like, I can pull a few strings and make sure that I can attend this concert. You know what I'm saying? I really want to go. Sizza. Like, SZA is just... I love her. I love her. Like, she... Her music is just art. She's art herself. Like, I just love listening to her talk about spirituality. I love listening just to her music. Like, I just love her aura. <clears throat> And I really appreciate the work that she puts out because it's just like, it resonates with me so deeply and just everyone around me that I know she just speaks on behalf of so many women and so many women can relate. I love her music, okay? And she needs to drop this next album, okay? <laughs> but I needed to be there. I am a SZA stan, I love her. And I needed to go. 
And so I paid the difference of my flight and I made sure that I was going to Denver a day early. And that's the other thing. The concert was in Denver, but we were staying in Breckenridge. But I was like, city transit, I'm a queen at that. I can get anywhere I need to be. Give me city transit and I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't anxious because I knew like my family was in Colorado. I knew I had a concert I was going to. But for the first time, I was like, damn, I'm about to go to a concert alone. Like, this is new to me. Every time I go to a concert, I love going with friends or just anyone just to, like, share that moment, that energy, because they just know they they were experiencing it with you. Like, it's so much fun to be with people for concerts. But I was like, if there's a concert I want to be going alone to, it would totally be SZA. Like, I'm so excited for this. So I bought my ticket off, like, StubHub or whatever, SeatGeek, something like that. And whatever, I fly to Denver, everything moves smoothly, it's great. Something to note is I don't know what is up with my phone, but the time never changes when I travel, so I have to manually do it in my settings. Now, Colorado, let me make sure I'm right on this. So Colorado is an hour behind Wisconsin time. Okay, that is a very important thing to note that will make sense later in the story, but they are an hour behind us. And my phone didn't change the time. And because sometimes, you know what? A bu- sometimes a bitch is lazy. <laughs> I don't know. But for some reason, I told myself, I'm just not going to change the time on this trip because it's only an hour and it doesn't matter. So I literally just didn't change my time once I landed. After I land, I ended up meeting up with my parents because they wanted to spend a day in Denver. And we go to this museum thing. It was really cool, like super trippy. It was just like a cool art museum thing kind of like interactive in a way and then we went out and got some food too and at this point I'm really starting to bug out a little bit on the time because I thought I had a lot more time and I wanted to go there I was like you know what if doors open at 6 30 I wanted to get there at like six o'clock that was my plan because because I've seen artists before where it's like doors open but then you know you're going to be standing there for at least another two hours so I was like if I give myself like 10, 15, 20 minutes to get in before doors open, I'll still be really close. And so I go back to get ready and I start doing my hair, my makeup, and it's funny, I recorded it and I'm like bugging on the fucking time. You can just tell. Hello guys, what is up? What is up? What is up? I'm literally on a time crunch. I'm literally on a slight time crunch, go figure. I always am. And I apologize for the echo. I'm currently in a hotel bathroom because we're on my way to literally go see my favorite artist of all time. We're literally gonna go see SZA. I'm so excited. Um, This is just a whole ass adventure. I need to finish getting ready because I literally need to leave in like 15 minutes. But SZA is one of those artists that just like, I have been a fan of for too long to not have seen her live like i'm talking like just since you're like literally since i was literally like you know 14. i'm tweaking out i'm trying to have a good time i'm trying to like literally film it like girl you're just go to the concert so i'm just really excited i'm currently in denver colorado i feel like i should mention that too i just wanted to bring y'all along i feel like and i'm also alone i'm going to the concert alone which i'm really fucking hype about like Concerts alone are just like anything independent is fucking awesome and it's just like so much fun so And I'm freaking out about the time and so I get ready super quickly I'm gonna go right when doors open because you know, I just gotta get in there early So I'll probably be sitting around I'm trying to get my uber driver to buy me a pre-roll At a dispo. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. SZA is one of those artists where it's like I've just loved her for so long. She's like the one artist that actually has got me through it all. Like actually, actually. It's just literally all I could have ever asked for. And why am I doing it? Because I made it happen. So that's the best part. Um, Colorado is so weird though. Like the seasons, it's so much like Texas. Like you're getting like four seasons in a day basically. So I was literally, I'm literally gonna wear like a thin zip up hoodie. And I think I'm gonna put my hair in pigtails. Like, I clearly haven't thought about this that much. Um, because obviously, a bitch knew she was gonna be running that. Um, I literally packed one hair tie. 
that's not gonna work. And I ordered myself an Uber to the venue. Okay guys, so I'm waiting for my Uber right now and I'm gonna go to SZA, to SZA completely alone. I'm so excited. Like this is literally all I've ever wanted. All I've ever wanted. I'm in a new city all by myself. Like I'm so excited where I kind of have to shit too, but whatever. Um, it's also so nice that I can just wear like a thin little hoodie and it's warm. Ah! And so I go to the venue <laughs> and we pull up and it's a big ballroom, like definitely big for sure. And not only is it big, but the line is already stretched all the way across. Like the building was a massive square. Three fourths of the square was already filled with people. And I'm like, holy shit. And I check my phone and at this point it's like, 6 15 and i'm freaking out i'm just like damn i thought i got here at a decent time like what the heck whatever so i end up just getting out of the uber and it's so fun when you're by yourself it's just such a moment of like independence it's just so nice being by yourself i highly recommend anyone go to a concert alone go travel alone just be alone for an hour like do things alone independently just to be like one with you and your thoughts it's very important and so I'm in line and I meet some cool ass people. Everyone's super friendly. I'm just like, yeah, I'm from Wisconsin. Like, that. I just love, I love that shit. I love meeting people. I feel like with COVID, people have gotten very like afraid of interaction and like socializing and human beings need that. Like, I just love being nice and friendly to everyone and I don't know, I recommend it to everyone and everyone loves it. So we're all just hanging out, talking. They're super cool and the line is not moving and we're standing there for some time and time is going past and I can be patient in a line for sure especially for a concert for a roller coaster like that type of shit bitch I'm ready to wait you know what I'm saying and so we're waiting though we're waiting for some time and I turn to her and I'm like dude do you think they're gonna open up the door soon because at this point time has passed for sure I look at my phone and it said 7 17 and I was like what the fuck? Like, I really thought they'd be more on this shit. Like, it's SZA. Like, I thought doors open at 6.30. That means doors open at 6.30. And I turned to the girl behind me and I'm like, why aren't, like, the, why isn't the line moving? Like, why hasn't shit happened? And she was like, no, they're really good about it here. Doors will open at 6.30. And then it hit me, bitch. <laughs> it hit me that a bitch never changed her time in her phone. You know what I'm saying? So my so in reality in Colorado time it was only 617 but on my phone it was 717. Okay, I decided I'm going to record this cuz I want to remember this. Um first of all cool people. Everyone's so nice, been very nice to me. I'm at this is a concert alone and it's so fun. Um I got here an hour earlier than I planned to. Doors opened at 6:30, but my phone was still an hour behind because of Wisconsin. So, or hour ahead, whatever, I don't know. And either way, um, I still wrapped around the building, it's crazy. And so then it clicked to me. I was really there, not 15 minutes beforehand. I was there like an hour and 15 minutes beforehand that I planned and everything worked out. Like it worked out beautifully that I didn't change my phone time when I landed because then I actually would have been probably getting ready longer. But bitch, I look cool. I had my Hello Kitty on, you know, the blue liner. It was a moment for sure. And so I was like, damn, I really got to this shit early without even anticipating it. Like even better than I planned. So we're walking in line, whatever. I'm, I just love the Denver crowd was cool for sure I feel like in the Midwest everyone is a little bit just like nicer more welcoming but everyone was very kind and I loved that it was very like I could ask anyone anything it is literally a blessing in disguise that I was so rushed and urgent to get here because I thought I was late because my phone because the line I'm literally entering the gate and the line still wraps around the entire room that's fucking insane so, bless everything I'm frozen, SZA. And on Ticketmaster, like, if you put your tickets in, you can normally just, like, have it right up and they'll have a device to scan it. And, of course, they're like, it's down, it's not working, we need the barcodes. So, everyone's going through their phones, it's, like, a little chaotic, trying to find this barcode. And I just remember in that moment, like, everyone's trying to find their friends, tell them, like, find the barcode. And I was like, damn, I'm here by myself. This is so cool. I can literally just find the barcode myself, walk in myself. 
And that's exactly what I did. Like, it's so nice not having anyone to explain yourself to, not having to tell anyone, like, let's do this. Like, this is the plan. You just do. You just do. And it's so nice. So I end up getting inside and actually my ticket, like, low-key, like, didn't scan. Like, I don't know. She was like, turn your brightness up, please. I did. And it was not beeping, but she let me in. I was like... Okay, um, other thing, every time you think you're alone or lonely, it's like you're not alone, you're with everyone, with all these people around, I don't know anyone, but it's like crazy, like I'm not alone, I'm alone, but I'm not alone, I have all these people, all these energies, we have one thing in common, so like, who is? By the time I get in the building, the, the line has officially wrapped around the building yet again, and I was like, damn like i actually got here at such a good time so i get in the venue it's a beautiful venue dude this is fucking dope yeah this is the coolest fucking venue i've ever been to okay so we were getting in and everyone was like freaking out because they needed the barcode not like the tap like the reader on Ticketmaster. it was just so fun i was like damn i can just do this on my own time like it's crazy also this venue is cool as fuck but it's gonna take forever for that. It's gonna be chilling here. Look at this. Go straight to the crowd. I, at first, I look around for a merch tent and I didn't see anything. And I was like, honestly, fuck it. Like, I just want to get in here. I want to, like, get close. Because I'm like, I wanna meet her or, like, I want to interact with her or whatever. And so I'm sitting there, like, we're standing. And if you know anything about concerts, like, like this, where it's just GA, you know you're gonna be standing there for a grip. And I'm probably there for about like 45 minutes and I'm starting to get I'm thirsty. Like, Damn, I am thirsty as fuck. So at this point too, I'm starting to make some concert friends. Like that's the best. Oh, I'm here by myself. Because when I'm at a music festival and I meet someone and they're like, oh, I'm here by myself. I'm like, you are the baddest bitch. I think that's such a flex. Like when I am with my friends and like at Lollapalooza, we met so many people by themselves and I was like, this is epic like you're so cool so it's so fun i was like damn i feel like that cool bitch right now you know okay. yeah everyone in colorado is lit as fuck cool as fuck met these coolest bitches first of all jade from victorious <laughs> there's like these two girls that are super cool i'm like talking to them and then there's like a bigger little group and this one girl runs or not runs but she like squeezes her way back up to the front by us and she's like you guys i i got a shirt i got a shirt and i was like damn and I asked her, I was like, where the fuck was the merch tent? Like, I want a shirt. And she was like, she was like, it's right over there, girl. <laughs> no, but she was like, it's literally by the bathrooms. Like, it's right over there. And at this point, I'm so thirsty that I, like, make a mental note in my head. I'm like, if I'm getting out of this crowd to get water because I'm thirsty, I'm also getting a damn shirt. Like, I'm not about to miss that opportunity as well. You know what I'm saying? So I asked them, I'm like, you guys, if I leave and I come back, Will you, like, you know, accept me? Because that's the thing. No one's going to save, like, saving a spot. That's not a thing. But I was like, and they were like, honestly, yes, we got you. So I leave. I get water. Thank God. Thank God that shit was not the Sani. It was at least, like, Aquafina or something. And after I get my water, I hop right in the merch line and I get the coolest shirt ever, which has so much relevance. So after that, I shuffled my way right back in the crowd. <laughs> Guys, I worked my way back up. Life that's the other thing that was so nice like i was just there just me and it was so nice you could i just slithered you just slithered if you know anything about music festivals concerts everyone fucking knows about them but like it's so nice you can just slither just you SZA comes out she's literally an angel she's literally an angel she was amazing she was literally amazing beautiful stunning just glowy goddess i'm taking notes from her like she's beautiful fuck school take notes from SZA. she played she played normal girl that was my number one played song this year and i just i love her she was beautiful she always made sure the whole crowd was safe we love her
do it, don't you wait for me, don't do it, don't you dare to do it. So let me tell you a secret. immediately after rush of people everyone's trying to get out and it's it's pretty chaotic and everyone's leaving and about three minutes later SZA comes back out and she starts signing shit signing shit thank you guys thank you guys thank you guys she's literally thanking the audience like talk about just an artist having so much gratitude Mwah, we stand her and she's signing everyone's things and at this point I'm like bruh I'm I came to fucking Denver I made this shit happen I'm getting my shirt fucking signed. So I run back up there. It's crazy. Like, people are throwing shit, throwing shit. Shout out the girl in the front of the, like, barricade. That bitch, she was a G. She literally was like, give me your shirt, give me your shirt. Because I was, like, three rows back. And she tossed my shirt up. And so SZA just goes down the line, just signing, 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 signing. Yeah! yeah. Right here, right here, that's mine, that's mine. Is that my shirt, do you know? Thank you for I don't know if I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Is your shirt, which one is mine? My shirt's that one. Fair enough, bitch. Hold up, obviously I need to grab it. This is the shirt I bought at the merch tent. Shout out the girl who literally told me where the merch tent was because I couldn't find it. Merch tent, I'm saying it like, you know, merch was. And she looks stunning on it. It's just like cool, like, ugh. Are you kidding me? And this is the best part. <laughs> yeah, the signature. Beautiful. I just love it. Like, it's literally just my prized possession. Absolutely. And so the thing is, too, people were throwing things up like shoes, bags, distinct items. But obviously people who were throwing up, people who also bought the shirt were throwing up the same shirt as me. And so I saw someone grab my shirt because I got an XL and I was like, fuck. If I'm if I paid for that shirt, I'm getting a shirt. So I just that's my shirt, that's my shirt. And I got this shirt back, so not the exact size, but it's fine. You guys, I just got back to my hotel sitting. Just so nice. The concert was fucking amazing. Most importantly, the fuck did I forget this? Y'all already know. Copped the signature from SZA. Cause you know I was gonna get that. I think aligns for a reason and everything happens for a reason and that's why also it's very difficult to do sometimes but when you just let go and trust the process things just things just work out perfectly and i don't actually mean that like obviously with everything there is struggle there's obstacles but genuinely like going to a concert alone in a different state in a venue i've never been like it was just such a new freeing experience and i ended up with a sh signed shirt by SZA. like that's amazing that's everything i could have asked for like are you fucking kidding me and although it's scary you just you just roll with it you just let go and accept and trust that it will align if it's for you like me not changing my phone time not thinking anything of it just being like i'm just not gonna change it to it literally leading to me 
allowing me to get to the venue that early so that I could get up that close so that I could grab the shit so that I could grab the shirt too everything happens for a reason so you just really have to trust the process and appreciate it so that is my story time on how I saw SZA and how I got my shit signed and how you know what shit just happens and you have to trust the process and it's literally just amazing but yeah alignment trust alignment trust the process and trust being a bad bitch but thank you guys so much for watching sorry i'm like hungry low-key i need some food six now damn okay i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video bye